Hey guys, interestingly enough, as of when I'm making this video on Monday, I have a few bigger collections to negotiate. But the Underground C buy list is 550. And I was like, okay, that's, that's really, really high. Um, the highest buy list I ever bought the Underground C at recently was 500. So then I was like, oh, okay, let me research what, what's happening here. And Card Kingdom does not have a single Underground C as of the recording of this video in, in inventory. That is fascinating beyond... So somebody's buying them up. And they're paying a lot of money for these dual lands. These dual lands are being bought up. Uh, reserve list is being bought up. Cradles are leaving. I mean, the inventory. Card Kingdom is well inventoried. They often have among the highest buy lists that, especially for singles um, that you will ever find in the marketplace. They're well respected. You know, if I can get a collection locally for Card Kingdom or a little bit more, I think it's a pretty good deal. Um, in the past, I've had trouble because I have paid more than Card Kingdom by quite a bit. And that's always been a bad deal long term for me. So I've, I've learned from that. But regardless, Card Kingdom is pretty much, uh, they're not a joke. They are, in my opinion, they're the leading experts in terms of buy lists and what the buy list should be at. And a lot of their cards are selling out or a very low inventory. Underground C, I've never seen them not have it, which suggests that somebody is paying $800 plus dollars for them and buying them out. So very fascinating. Uh, very, very fascinating because this type of stuff shouldn't really be happening uh, all, at, all that often. So I think the reserve list, something is happening. I can't really tell you exactly what's happening, but uh, there is... A buyer there are people buying this stuff and they're getting really good prices on the cards they truly are getting good prices on them and these cards are not going to populate so if you bet on magic the game and it's a bet it is a bet it's a gamble on the game surviving and doing well you don't want to hold modern boxes modern boxes are basically worthless in my opinion you don't want to be holding modern cards. Uh, when I mean modern, I mean non reserve list cards because they have been reprinted so many different times that, uh, you know, they're, they don't. So, I mean, look at poor Tomogoyf. It's a $10 card now. The card used to be worth $200. I uh, look at these Shocklands. No matter how much Alpha Investment says they're a good investment, they're not. They're simply not because you know. You know, and I know, and my grandma knows, and your grandma knows that they will be reprinted over and over and over again. So I think in terms of Magic the Gathering, it, it's interesting. Um, I'm not going to buy Sealed, but a lot of these older cards, they do have value. And there are people buying them, and there is a market for them. So like Underground Sea, again, that's a very weird card. To see at this high of a price point. It talks to me the market at the bottom. That at least Card Kingdom. And Card Kingdom being experts in this area. Believes that the bottom is over. That's fascinating. Because it's a signal right. It's a, it's a signal to me. Um, if Card Kingdom is starting to offer more. Then that affects my bottom line because that means I need to pay more because I match Card Kingdom with a bonus, right? And maybe I need to work harder to buy more collections. And Card Kingdom on top of this is actually advertising that they want to buy your collection now. So I'm going to TCG Con. I already had this idea. Um, I already had this idea. And the idea was basically TCG Con was a convention where people would be selling, trading, you know, just doing random stuff with their cards. Um, and whether or not that type of environment would allow me to buy cards really cheap. And I wasn't, you know, I'm, I'm trying to think about should I sell to buy more or should I just buy? So it's a tough question, but I have to probably make that decision closer to that date. A lot of things can obviously change. And it's an interesting dilemma. 
because I do believe, like I personally believe that these cards are low. And I think we already hit the bottom. The bottom has traditionally always been around... Hmm, there's Edgar and Markov at $150. Jesus, I have like eight or nine copies of this dude. I have no idea why I didn't... I think he's a reprint as a Judge promo, right? That was the only reprint. But it's low, man. These prices are still relatively attractive. And I think that the bottom is already gone. I think the bottom was probably late December, early January, which the bottom for cards has always been that. And now these cards are heating up. I'm, I'm getting emails to buy cards now. Like for me to sell them people cards. And I just don't do it. I, I almost never sell cards. There's no need. I don't need liquidity. Um, there's no need to sell cards. In my opinion. At this moment in time. Cards are going up. Underground C is doing really, really, really well. I look at it and I say, wow, that, that's... um." Man, that, that's a good price. Uh, would I would I offload all forty of my underground seas at that price? Yeah, five fifty. Yeah, five fifty five. And then so and then I looked, and there's no underground seas at all. They don't have no their mints, EXs, VGs, or even good. They don't have anything. That's weird, in my opinion. And they're out of stock of cradles. They're out of stock of diamonds. Like, somebody probably went to Car Kingdom one day, maybe in person, and just bought them out. Because none of their inventory is here. They either lost the inventory, which I don't think is realistic, right? Or, um... No, no one knows where it is. I mean, I, I think this is interesting. Mox Jet was so cheap um, before... Um, I, I remember my Mox Jet I bought for thirty five hundred, and I pay I way overpaid for that. And it's a good time to buy. I think it's a good time to buy, and I don't need you guys to believe me because I'm buying. Make this video one week in advance. <laughs> I've already bought, and you can take the advice. You know, maybe the price of city of traders. Jesus, like I look at these cards. I have these cards. They are really expensive, and they're out of stock. That, that's a clear signal to me that, like, oh, something is happening here because they used to be in stock, and they didn't used to be this expensive. And now they're just outrageously expensive. And, you know, I was doing these shorts things where I'm trying to uh, sell my cards, and, yeah, you get a lot of trolls, but there are a lot of people who actually want to pay a considerable amount of money to buy them. And there are a lot of, you know, sharks, if you will, that want to uh, really up the ante and buy all my cards. So that's kind of fascinating as well. Yeah, there's some life. There's some life, guys.